While the Messiah are free to roam the gorge, the crater, and anywhere in between, no one is allowed to set foot in our final stop without a car. And even that has to be earned. Yeah, this is the main road to go to Serengeti. This is the main road and the only road you can take to and fro. They don't pave it so the animals can migrate. Yes. I gotcha. That's nice of them. This is the Great Serengeti, which is actually the Maasai word for endless plains. Seemingly appropriate. Now there's a lot of places in the world that we found to be legitimately overrated. And to be honest, the Serengeti has been so hyped for so long, we never expected it to live up. And first impressions are telling us we couldn't have been more wrong. If it were any indication, here's a happy new couple before we even get through the main gates of the national park. A little unnerving considering my plans outside the vehicle. So this is the uh, the gate to the Serengeti National Park, the big one. So if you're doing it via honeymoon, you should do it traditionally. Look what I caught. The Serengeti was actually created to preserve the pathway for the world's largest mammal migration, made up of wildebeest, zebra, and gazelles, trekking over 1,200 miles annually, just keeping up with the available food and water. The biggest concentration happens for just a couple weeks, so it's hard to time when to come and see that. But even if you miss it, this is not only ultimate safari country 365 days a year, it's an international symbol of paradise. The only downfall is the sheer size. The park covers well over 9,000 square miles. You could easily spend months here and hardly make a dent. So we have to accept the fact that we'll only get a small taste of the Serengeti. But even a small taste is quite a mouthful. The funny thing about safari in Africa, especially Tanzania, there's so many animals. You know, when back in the States, we get so excited if we just see a deer on the road. After two days in Africa, you'll see 50 Impala sitting right on the side of the road, and you'll go, ah, oh, it's just Impala. Entering through the central Serenera Valley is mostly grassy plains with scattered rock outcrops. There's a decent amount of water here, so it's the most consistently populated region throughout the year, for animals and travelers. Other areas are a little more seasonal. This is the Serengeti Hippo Pool. Obviously. Man, I thought the hippos at Lake Manyara smelled bad. <laughs> Take this. Though the park was founded in 1913, the ecosystem here is one of the oldest on the planet, with little change in climate or landscape over the last million years or so. And the lodging is as diverse as the wildlife. If you're on a honeymoon, the tented camps are by far the most romantic. This is a nice tent. Time to sit and get you some. But even the high-end lodging offers game interaction. That is a grazing hippo. Could you see it? Right outside our room. It's an odd feeling sleeping with so many unusual things just steps away from the pillow. But it's all part of the experience. And tomorrow morning we have a once-in-a-lifetime experience waiting for us. <laughs> 